How scared are you that we're going to get murdered? About six on the scale, I'm not going to lie. We've got, got a Uber driver. <laughs> he's coming, he's five minutes away. We're in the dark. We don't know where we're going. It's looking great from here, guys. Krakow! Hello MTV and welcome to my crib. This is our place in Krakow and it literally is peng. So we got an, ugh, I just made it smoky, gross. There's a TV and this brick textured wall. Love it. And then these funky lights. And then there's Beth and my camera's a bit dirty. There we go. There's the seti. There's the table. This is Beth. This is the kitchen. Beth, I thought this was a toaster. It's a microwave. I didn't. I said it's a microwave. You said it's a toaster. drink. Yes, please. And then we have these amazing pictures with American Horror Story devil hands. I don't think that was coincidental. Oh, open the wardrobe, I did. I did already. There's nothing in there. Take some of those hangers home. And the stairs are Instagram central. So basically, you can take lots of pictures. <laughs> and then you go upstairs. <laughs> and hit your head on the ceiling. Ow! I didn't even realise and I did it, on, did it again. That one that said he's six foot, I didn't have a problem. And this is the bed up here. It's nice. But it's a bit too close. What's this? Is this chocolate spread? She's pretty ready in the fridge. She's been here like five minutes. And the highlight of the house, apartment. We're a bit disappointed though because it is a lot smaller than we hoped for. There's not a back door there and that's it. No plugs. No plugs for us. The defining feature of this is the bathroom. It's got these nice white tiles, it's stunning. This floor, this toilet, the, br um, the brick tiles effect, and this mirror. Hola. And the sink, and then the shower. Shower. There's a plug socket in the wall there. Ah, brilliant. More light. And then we have the shower, which literally looks exactly like the pictures, and I'm so happy. I'm just going to sit in the shower for the next 20 minutes. Update to follow. Some nice dog paintings. But yeah, other than that, I'm knackered and I'm tired and I'm sweaty and I stink. I'm going to have a shower, we're going to get food, and then sleep, and then start tomorrow anew. We've literally been here half an hour. One by twenty-four pints of beer. Yeah, two forty. This place is called Espada <laughs> Coco. If you're in Coco, however, come here and drink. Cheers to that. The next day. So basically, I googled this place online before we came, and it's a oh my god, there's a massive wasp next to me. It's called Mr. Pancake, and I was really excited to eat their pancakes. And legit, look at how amazing it is. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> and it comes with a really nice, really, really nice flag. Literally. Just oh fuck that on my it. god. And Beth got this thing called Never Skip Egg Day. Scrambled eggs, cheesy scrambled eggs, bacon, milky toast. That's dead. That's dead. That's dead. How was that? <laughs> we found Krakow's equivalent of the Peace Gardens in Sheffield. Maybe a bit smaller, but I mean. That's not so big,
This is the main square. It's funny because it's not actually a square, it's like a rectangle. There's the cloth hall, and there's a, a basilica. And I don't know what that is, but there's a massive head outside there, so I want to go over there and take some pictures of the head. We're now attempting to climb to the top of the town hall. Oh my god. I regret this. The stairs are quite steep. Look at all this history. Halfway up the tower. You can get magnets and stuff from here. Look at that. I don't know where we are, but we're underground and everything's in Polish and there's a dead body on the floor. Fun. I'm having a great time. Your first trip to Sephora? Ever. Ever. One eternity later. Hello. We went out today and we had some lush pancakes that you saw this morning. Um, went to the Basilica, went to the old... No, we didn't. We had pancakes. Then we went to the main square. And then we had Starbucks and did other stuff and got some oh cocktails and me and Ben had some cocktails and you think I'm drunk because I can't speak but then again I can't speak any anyway um I had this strawberry daiquiri and it was divine it was like slush are you laughing at me I'm just no because it's funny because it was proper burner it was delicious um it looked like slush like a slush puppy but it just wouldn't go down like because you kept drinking it and then it, because it wouldn't melt because it was like ice and it just wouldn't go anywhere and you're like oh my god this is an end of supply and then I was like oh my god I'm drunk on one what was that and then we decided to go home and um chill eat some bread ham cheese some crisps some milker now we're listening to music we're gonna get ready 
Then we're going to go to the um, Jewish, dis Jewish district of um, Krakow, um, Krakow, and then go and eat there and drink and hopefully, I hope Beth comes with me to do karaoke. We'll see how that goes. Um, I probably won't film anything after this because I don't want my camera to be broken or stolen. Um, and apologies for lack of um, one, my face in videos because I'm ugly. And second of all, I want to apologize for some of the dodgy content at the beginning of the video because some of it was filmed on my camera off my phone because I didn't really want people to be looking at me when I was whipping my camera out. Correction, yesterday night we went out for beers. It wasn't a £1 beer, it was £1.24. I didn't convert it properly, I corrected myself now, it was £1.24. Still dirt cheap. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Cooking Sesh with Rish. You're not on holiday if you don't go to the supermarket and buy local bread and cheese and other things and put them together and eat them like there's no tomorrow. So here we go. First of all, I've got some butter that I found in the fridge. Second of all, I bought some salami, some cheese, packet, I love packet food. Some bread. That's it, me some cheese. And some milk. I really want to, I hope this is milk. Praise the Lord, it's milk. I poured sour cream into my cereal this morning. First of all, what you need to do is get some bread. Open that bread up. That's one slice, and then you butter it up. So open the butter. Be generous with the butter because you, you, you really want to be fat on holiday. So now we have both of them buttered. So what you want to do is get your cheese, open up this fresh packet, processed goodness, and just go whole, whole hog on it. And in this case, whole cheese. So one slice there, let's save the rest for later. And then be generous with the salami because you're a fat cow. Next, cue a la carte meal in three, two, one. So what we have here is my staple diet. So I finished the sandwich and then I finished the plate off with some Lay's because we're not on a holiday. Lay's are life. And then I've got some milk as well. So a really healthy balanced meal. And to make sure that your meal is well rounded and balanced and healthy and nutritious, drink a big glass of Water. Hello, um, I am vlogging in the bathroom. Uh, sorry about the echoey noise. Basically, yesterday we went to um, Auschwitz and we got up at like 10 and we were leaving at half 11 because we booked an organised tour in the We took us around. Auschwitz 1 and then Auschwitz 2 broken out. Just first of all, I want to start by apologising how there isn't much footage of Auschwitz because um, I felt like it wasn't required to film us, so I just took pictures and I'm going to put a few pictures and a few videos that I did take just for me to remember, but I felt like it wasn't respectful to vlog, so I was just like, instead, I like to provide an explanation and I'll just talk about what, what it was like and just show some images. I felt like there wasn't need to put pictures and videos in because every time you take pictures and videos you never really get the full um, feel of what it is like and I think pictures and videos will never do anything justice like monuments things like that. Um, the amount of pictures you take are for memory's sake but in person nothing can ever replace seeing it in person so I felt like it wouldn't convey the sense of feeling that you had when you were there. So Auschwitz in general was a lot like what I thought it would be and in the sense where I knew that I'd feel uncomfortable and I think some of the parts that made me really uncomfortable were the hair but also the shoes really stuck with me, the room full of shoes and the room full of hair. The room full of shoes because my head was going through each person that had own the shoes and I just couldn't comprehend um, the kids and the adults and the women like I was imagining what type of person only each type of shoe and I like, had and then I was just like oh my god one two three four five six seven eight nine the list like it goes on like the count 
and then you just get taken aback. And I think I went in knowing that I was going to be uncomfortable, and obviously I was uncomfortable, but then I felt really drained, like energy wise. I just didn't want to, hence why I didn't want to vlog. I just felt like, like empty, like a dead weight. Like when you're tired, or like after a long day, you're tired and you're just exhausted. We didn't wake up late, so we were energized. But I think the whole atmosphere and the vibe just took all the energy out of you. I've always like, learned from like, school, like Germans and like all this stuff, and I just really wanted to see it in person and be like, feel, like feel, have a feel of what it's really like. Um, and yeah, it was what I expected, and I do thoroughly recommend anyone who wants to visit to visit. But I do definitely think it is worth visiting. Um, especially if you're interested in that history. Um, it's a real eye-opener that really does show you what we were like, like our, what humans were capable of, and it's nasty, it is horrible. Um, So me and Beth are at this rest, uh, bistro called Charlotte and Beth has got a mimosa and she's waiting on a, your sandwich and I got a Charlotte's breakfast with croissant, homemade bread, hot chocolate, cranberry jam. mom, is it cranberry jam or strawberry jam? Blackcurrant berry Maybe berry jam and then chocolate and I'm so excited to eat this. Me and Beth just went to the salt mines. Um, I didn't really film a lot of it because to pay to vlog and uh, pay to take pictures. So I sneakily took pictures and things without people knowing because I don't want to pay extra money. Um, and now we're underground in an underground restaurant. Do you know how far this is underground? It said we were 130 meters in the other bit. So. Going with 130 meters underground. And Beth has got. You can't even see it's so dark. Cake and a coffee latte. Mm -hmm. I have got my classic chicken nuggets. No sauce. And apple juice. No, I hate dipping. Um, you're weird. You're weird. No, I hate dipping it. It makes me feel sick. So yay! It's like that block escape game. No, I don't get it. Well, where everything's got to go to the right yeah. place. Easy geological puzzle. Completed it, mate. You can lick the walls here. Salty? Not right, nice. Mm. Tasty. So, me and Beth have popped out to a vegan restaurant. We have both got the tofu vegan burger. Shout out to Mem because you're vegan. We're living the vegan life for half an hour. Um, I'll let you know how it is though, but. What joke did I just make about can't touch this? Hammer time. Ha hammer time. Oh, camera time. Good afternoon. Good morning in England. Um, me and Beth have checked out of our apartment and now we are sitting having late la late breakfast slash lunch lunch brunch, um, brunch mm -hmm. type I can't really call it brunch what is we it? can call it's it brunch breakfast, in it's lunch England food. for lunch food yeah we're having toasties to me brunch just means a late breakfast that is actually at lunchtime I just call that lazy <laughs> that is at half nine this evening 9.35 um, we are planning to go to the castle and the basilica again and go inside hopefully. Um, go souvenir shopping of course. Hop around cafes all day as long as we do as much as we can in the time we've got with the little money we have yeah. left essentially. Well, I have 28 
stuff to eat left. Yeah, we dropped our luggage off at um, the train station, which is really good in Europe. Like train station, train stations where like you can store your that's just been attacked by a wasp. Um, you can store your luggage in like lockers and then just go around. Like, if you have a later flight and you have to check out really early, so we put both of our suitcases in a massive locker and it's twelve slotty for the day, which works out like two pounds, two pound fifty. Yeah, two pound fifty for twenty four hours. So it's like really good and it saves you lug your suitcase around the whole of the city. Terrible. And looking like more like a ninny. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Les. Thank you. Oh no, I keep taking pictures. I thought the front camera was off. What? <laughs> Hey, so um, I'm in the toilets at the train station because um, everywhere else is packed and I don't really want to stick my camera out and film everywhere. Um, basically, me and Beth kind of just been like chilling today, going to coffee shops, going to a restaurant, just eating and like went to the castle, we saw some videos of. And now we're going to head home, we're going to the airport and then head home. Um, I'm going to end this video here, a classy end, um, me in the toilet. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Um, if you have any like and don't forget to subscribe. And I shall see you guys in my next video. Till then, take care, love yourself, and I shall see you guys there. Bye.